Good day, guys. Being here. Um, today we're going to talk about positive. Oh, uh, actually, uh, we're going to going to talk about negative. Okay, so we can have positive, of course, but uh, uh, negative. How about negative? So offset or parameter. Okay, so let's start. So first, I'm going to just create a, a generic model. Okay, so this. Uh, okay, so let's let me just show you an example. So basically, so when we create a reference plan and do a dimension and create a parameter, let's call it x for 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 example. So this can be can only be positive, right? So if I go to family type, say type type in. Uh, so one made a okay, zero, okay, but if I type in negative, so we can't do it. So parameter x has an invalid value. Okay, so how do we? How can we have neg negative? Yes, we can, but we just need to work around to have a, a just do it uh, differently. Okay, so what we can do is, so we, we're still going to keep x, okay, so but we need an extra one. So it will be something like this. So I'll just delete this one. And it will be, uh, uh, let's create another, another reference plan. So this one, depending on, uh, you can just create here, but the distance between this one and this will determine the 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 it will be a maximum distance. So you can't go further than that. that. So, for example, if you know that your negative uh, dimension will be maximum two meters, so you probably just need to have this one slightly uh, larger or bigger than two meters. So let me just maybe just place it three meters away from here. So, okay, so now we just need to create a dimension. You don't need to create a parameter. You just need to lock it, lock this one. So you know that three meters away from this, you have a reference plan. And then from this reference plan, you do another dimension. So to this one, which is, you. You, uh, you use this one to control uh, your family and then you can create a parameter so this one will be uh, a new parameter let's call it y and okay and then go to family types so you just need to uh, put a formula in y okay so which means you can control the x, but this y is controlled by the x. So y equals x uh, plus three meter. Okay, so apply, and also you can just uh, just change this uh, group to you know some other maybe other for example. So when you later when you change the when you change the parameter so when you load this family into a project this y will be further down there you won't see it so you can, you will only see this x and then you can type in a negative number so for example if i type in 0 it will still go to this reference line okay and if you type in negative 1 meter it will go to here negative 2 of course the maximum number you can have or the minimum the smallest you can have is negative 3 so if you want to go further to the left you need to increase this so which means you need to move that so let me just change this one to 0 yeah you need to move this further away from this so you can have smaller negative number okay so 
so this is this is it this is for generic model or even um, any family so you use reference plan and dimension so when you use reference plan and dimension and if you want to use a negative offset you can try this one okay so now let me just close this one and now I'm going to show you another so this time I'm going to show you um, generic model adaptive okay so the so difference between gen, uh, adaptive family to normal generic model is it's actually a mass environment okay so you can not only you can you can still use reference plans so for example you can use reference plan you can use and then use dimension okay so no problem it's exactly the same so you can use the same method but you can also so let me just delete this reference plan you can also use point so this is uh, the very um, different uh, uh, so you because you don't have points in general model okay so points you can only have points in mass or adaptive family so with the points you can let me just make this point adaptive so we can see all these reference or, or word plans or you can just select the point and um, show the work plans or so for example always and then you will see all the word plan so if I place a point, another point, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the work plan of this point, place it on the point, and then you will see if you select this point, you have the option to drag this up. So um, you will see it's a positive offset. Okay. So with this, let me just create a new parameter. Let's call it X. As well and then so the difference between this and uh, the, the 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 dimension parameter uh, of general model is you can have negative so value so for example if I type in three negative three meter it will go down there okay so you, you will see if you select this point this this error tells you so if the positive will go up on the top and negative is uh, down here so yeah so um so this is the you know the 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 feature of the you know offset of the points um but sometimes we still need to um I'll show you sometimes we still need to have some issue with the positive and negative because because we can't sometimes we can't we just can't pick the you know choose which which face is positive which is negative so we can't um, decide the orientation of the work plan okay so it's like a guess guess guessing so now I'm just going to show the work plan and then i'll just place another point draw on work plan set work plan and pick i'm going to pick a vertical so maybe this one and then i'll just place it on here and i don't know which side are so looks like uh rather this side this what this, this um is positive okay so and in imagine you you actually want it to go that way but instead i have uh, you know and then so you move that this point to the here and what you get is a negative so um, parameter so now actually you have an option is you can just so for example you can create this as a y but you probably don't so when you have you know a lot a list of dimensions you don't want to 
them to to be you know some of them positive, some of them negative. Maybe it's it make more sense to to、um, have all the number positive, right? So now what you can do is you can just have another another parameter. So let's call it so and. Y maybe Y negative, okay. So have another one, and then I'll just hide it. So instead of have this under dimension, so I'll just change this to other, and then I'll just use change use this um. Actually, let me just click、uh, click OK, select this point, and link um link this instead of link this to uh. Y, change it to Y N. Click OK. We go. This warning that's fine because uh we did we, because we didn't change the Y N is which is a zero. So we can just type this one equals negative Y. So now we can have a positive Y instead, but still this point will go to the direction we want it to be. So See the arrow here, so it's a negative、uh, value, but so we use this y to control it. Okay, so the actual offset is linked to this, and this formula, the formula of this parameter is negative y, so which means we can have this positive offset to control this one. Okay, so so this is one. Way to do it, and another one.、Uh, let me show you. So sometimes when we have、uh, po found points, um, so if I, oh hell, let me just have a look. Um, yeah, let me try. I'm not quite sure because so this point, and we can also do this. So see, I think this is actually easier, but sometimes it won't work. But Uh, let me just do this. I'll just copy. I mean, I'll just do, do another one. So I'll have one point drawn on drawn word plan. Set word plan. Pick the reference level. Place it here. And another point drawn word plan. Pick the horizontal word plan on this point. And OK. Pick this one. Go up. And pick place another one drawn word plan. Set word plan. Pick the vertical word plan of this point. So, so it will be it should be the same, exact same. So you will see the direction is the same. If I drag it that this way, and it will be negative. So now what you can do is for this one, it's actually easier. So this will be easier. So instead of do anything to this one, so you do select this point and go here. So you will see this a rotation angle, okay, which is zero degree. So If you rotate it, so imagine this point is on the horizontal world plan, and it will rotate.、Um, I'm not sure which way, but just rotate. It, it will just rotate, <laughs> and then you can just change this to 180 degree. So now you will see, and then this direction become positive. So you can just select this point, drag it this way. So you can have this point go. This way, with the positive offset. Okay, so now you can link this to、um, Y. Okay, so yeah, so this will be another method. I think it's easier sometimes, but sometimes when you can't rotate, so、uh, the point. You probably you, then you need to do this、uh, formula method.、Um, okay, so last one. If I create a reference line here, and then place a point on this reference line, so this will be the same. So this point will be and、uh, you will be able to control this point. So see this rotation angle. So you can, if I place another point on this, so for example, and so this one, 
imagine I want to place, so you will see this is a positive, right? Positive offset. But if I want to keep the positive offset, but instead of you know move offset this way, I want it to go the other direction. So you can just select the point, drag and uh, rotate it by 180 degree. So of course you can rotate different angles, so it will be you know. So you can change it whatever whatever angle you you like. Okay. All good. Um, yeah, I think that's that's it. So yeah, um, have a play. Uh, yeah, I know it's a it's a bit confusing. All the you know all these uh, direction. So just practice and you will get it. That's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.